Hi there, this is Paddy from JDM Auction Watch and this is a quick video on how to log into our website, how to search for cars and how to place a bid. Um, so to get started, the first thing you need to do is go to uh, this site here that you see in front of you and you can do that by either going to auctions.jdmauctionwatch.com or going to www.jdmauctionwatch.com and clicking on the live auctions link. Um, when you get to this page, the next step is to log in and you can do that by clicking on the login button on the top right and uh, for the purpose of this I'm just going to use a, a demo user account um, if you're registered already you can use your own login or if you're not you can click on the registration link here and fill out the simple form so to log in um, when you're logged in, it's going to bring you up pretty much the same page as before, but um, as we're logged in, we have full access on the site. And you'll see two tabs in front of you here. You've got Japanese auctions and you've got one price. One price is dealer cars. Um, we don't generally buy a lot of them because they work out a lot more expensive than buying through auctions. But that being said, if you do spot something there and you'd like us to look at it, um, we can by all means give you an all-in price. So for the purpose of that, this video, we're going to be looking at Japanese auctions. Um, we'll click on that here and it brings you through to a page with a simple search form on it. So um, first off, you'll see all the, the Japanese car brands and um, below that you'll see European makes and American makes as well. Um, let's say we want to look at Nissan Skylines. We can do that by clicking on Nissan. Uh, we can scroll down here. This is all the Nissan uh, models and we can scroll down to Skyline Just here and it shows that there's 341 of them live in the system right now and um, When we click on it, it gives us uh, 18 pages of cars So you can click on all of these here or go through them all or alternatively you can narrow them down using the search options here so for example in this video we want to look at let's say GTR Skylines and we know they're 2.6 so we can go into the CC here and narrow that down to 2.6 here and we also know that they're all manual and we don't want to see any automatic so we click on manual transmission and we click on search here so now we're down to three pages and all these cars here should be GTRs or have an RB26 conversion um, so we can, we can look here at what information it gives us. It gives us three pictures initially, the lot number, it gives us the auction date and the auction house below. The auction date is quite important because that's the day the car goes through auction and that's, that's in Japan time. So if you're from the UK or you're from Ireland, then you need to look at that date very carefully because uh, you will always have to bid the day before. So if with this car, um, the auction date is the 20th of the 8th, so we'll need a bid by the very latest on the 19th of the 8th that evening. So looking at the other information, we see it's 2002, BNR 34 is obviously the chassis code, um, just says GTR modified. This here tells us what gearbox type is in it. It's 6.4 uh, gears, so six speed manual. Um, if it's automatic, uh, obviously we filtered it here, but if it was automatic, you'd see AT or FAT listed here. Uh, the CC is obviously 2.6, you see the colour, gunmetal, and then full four-wheel drive, it's a drivetrain, and then see the 280 brake horsepower, which is the original manufacturer's horsepower rating. Um, over beside that, you see the mileage, and then you have the grade, which is 3.5 for this car. So to narrow it down even more, let's say we want to look at R32 GTRs only. There's two ways of doing that. We can uh, limit that by the years the R32 GTR was made, so we can go, say, 89 uh, to 94 or we can also click on the chassis code here so BNR32 so if you click on that one and click search you'll get a full listing here of all the R32 GTRs available right now at auction so let's say you want to look at one of these and um, we'll see if we can pick a good one go to the second page And we can click on this one here, which is a nice grade four car, which is 51,000 kilometers. On this page, you get some more information. We get nicer, bigger pictures. Um, normally there's only three pictures, but as this car is at USS Nagoya, they give us nicer pictures. Um, so we get some extra ones. 
including strangely a picture of the rear seats which are actually pretty cool in this car but um up here to the right then we have the auction sheet now i'm not going to go through the auction sheet in full um, just some basic information i'm going to do another video on that later on um, but up here in the top right we'll always see the grade of the car and below we'll see uh, the interior grade which for this one is grade b which is really excellent for the year of the car and um, you see lots of comments here lots of other information we can get all that translated for you if you've a bidding deposit and then down here in the bottom right you'll have the diagram of the car and you'll see lots of marks each panel will be detailed and you'll see marks such as u1 w2 another u1 here and w2 there and then there's an a1 on the front bumper and the rear bumper as well to figure out what they mean you just look at the guide below here we can see a1 is a small scratch that would be barely noticeable um, w2 in this case is a repair mark a wave just likely some touch up again it won't be too bad um, the three grade marks are the ones you really need to look out for but um, let's not get into that we'll just have a look at the bidding on this car so if you want to bid the first thing we need from you is a bidding deposit and you can do that by opening up any car and click on the link here which says to place a bidding deposit click here and um, so if you click on that you can follow that through and you can either place a bidding deposit by PayPal or using uh, a credit card or debit card it'll come through to us in the same way once we have that bidding deposit from you we're happy to accept bids and you can do that by using this box and um, we can accept bids in uh, euro j pounds dollars or japanese yen and um, probably if you're from ireland it'll be euros uk obviously pounds and then for the rest of the world we usually do us dollars so let's say we're we want to send this car to ireland and our maximum bid for this one is twenty thousand euro so we can enter 20,000 here, uh, select euros, and then we select the terms of the bid here. So it's IRL imported to Dublin, Ireland, including all fees. And what that means is absolutely everything is included in your bid, but the only thing we don't cover, and this goes to the UK as well, is registration. So just bear that in mind. For the UK, with a car this age, it'll just be a small registration fee. For Ireland, you'll have to pay VRT on top of your bid. It's also worth mentioning that your bid will include everything, but it's a maximum amount. So um, if you enter here 20,000 and we get the car for under your bid, the, the lesser price is what you pay. So if we, if we get the car for 18,000 euro or what works out at that, then 18,000 will be what you pay. Also below here, you have your notes box. Uh, you can enter any conditions here or any notes for uh, us to pass on to the inspector who'll check the car. And um, then once you're happy, you can click here to place your bid. Uh, it'll ask you to agree with the terms. And you should get confirmation, which is here. Now, if you can also, please make sure you get an email confirmation from us as well, that we've accepted your bid. And that way, you know it's been processed for sure. Then, obviously, due to the time difference, um, we will let you know the following morning uh, how your result went. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We'll do our best to answer them. And look forward to talking to you soon.